Heavenly Father, as we want to continue with our text, I, I believe, Lord, I trust that your children has been tremendously blessed yesterday morning. And now, Lord, as we continue as your servant, I ask humbly, Almighty God, that you will just open up, give us more revelation and abundance of your presence. Give us a way, Lord, to understand the simplicity of the preaching of this gospel, Lord. Father, there are so many things that, Lord, that you have given us. And Lord Jesus, help us this week, O oh God, as we encouraging one another, Lord, that we will be blessed, that we will just receive the blessings of the Lord, and that you will touch us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to know how to activate, Lord, the presence of God. Who am dit in woordigen to ten woordigheid van God te activeer, Heere. Almighty God, bless your children today. Bless every household. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved bride of God, I'm trusting that you are blessed. That, oh my, that, that the Holy Ghost is present where you are right now. You might find yourself in your lounge. You might find yourself in your kitchen, sister, in your bedroom, in your office, in your car. You might be with your earphones on in the taxi. I just want to say God bless you this morning. I want to just continue where we stopped yesterday morning. Hallelujah. Just, just bear with me, brothers and sisters. Sometimes I get too excited. Just bear with me this week. You know, to experience the supernatural move of God, om die boonatierlijke beweging van God te ervaar, there's something within you. Hallelujah, there is no devil in hell that can take that experience away from you. There's no sickness. There's no trouble. There's no demon power that can take that experience. Hallelujah, away from you. And I believe this morning that uh, there's somebody that can say amen to that. Hallelujah, wanneer jy God ontmoet het, en ek wil jy bemoedig vanmorgen, my vriend, jy wat nog nie God ontmoet het, as jou salig maker nie, I want to encourage you, my friend, you that have not met God as your personal savior, my precious brother and sister, you that haven't had that experience, I want to encourage you this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Get closer to the Almighty God. Get to a place in your life where you can have that kind of, hallelujah, of experience. It is an experience that no man can take away from you. No sickness, not even death can take away that supernatural move. Hallelujah. Amen. That experience, hallelujah, that you had with God. There is nothing that it will take from you. Hallelujah. And I will you bemoedig, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. That every kind of us Hallelujah, ons jong mense. Hallelujah, leave all these worldly things. Leave all these worldly influences, young people. Hallelujah, take away all these devices, all these internet programs, all these social network programs 
They take so much of your time. Get rid of all these things. They take your time, my brothers and sisters, and try to spend more time in the presence of the Almighty God. Probeer om meer tijd te spandeer in die teenwoordigheid van die Heere. Halleluja. So dat elkeen van ons daar die boonatierlijke ondervinding met God kan het. The courage of this fearless, halleluja, vrees, loose, melaatse manne, halleluja, it produced the move of the supernatural. Halleluja, they were brave. Halleluja, they were bold. And these are the words of this man. And I would like to draw your attention. Amen. If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city. Hallelujah. The famine is in the city. And we shall die there. And if we sit still here in our present condition as lepers, they they were able to identify their present condition. What is your present condition, my brothers and sisters? If and if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore come, oh my I like this, and let us fall unto the host of Syrians. Of the Syrians. If they save us alive. We shall live. And if they kill us. We shall. But die. Oh my. This man. They made a clear cut. A clean cut. Decision. If we remain here. We will die. Because we are sick. We are hungry. There's no need to go back into the city. Because there is famine. So there's no way out of this. It is all about me and you, my brother and my sister. We have to make a clean cut decision. What we will be doing. In the next few moments. Hallelujah. Die besluite wat jy moet neem. Vir die volgende oomlik. Mag die oomlik wees. O waar ons die heerlijkheid van God gaan ervaar. The decision that you are about to take. It might be the decision that will change. The course of your life. Hallelujah. And these men, verse 5, and they rose up in the twilight. Oh my. In the ending of the day, what we call the beginning of the night, to go unto the camp of the Syrians. And when they came to the uttermost parts, the extreme parts, hallelujah, the uttermost parts, the extreme, hallelujah, parts of where the Syrians lived and where they had a camp, hallelujah. There was no man there unless we take the step of faith. They got into the camp, not just in the camp of the Syrians. I want you to underline this this morning, my brothers and sisters, before we close this little devotion. 
We're talking about footsteps. We're talking about possessing the gates of the enemy. What was important for these four lepers, what was important for Joshua, remember that the Bible says that God spoke to Joshua and God told Joshua that every place where you, Joshua, my servant, wherever you will be moving around and wherever you will put your foot down, that ground, that place, I, your God, will give it to you. Only thing Joshua had to do from that very day, or what we can say, from that very moment, the only thing Joshua had to do, it, it, it was to, it was to take the very first step. The time of to stagnate is over. The day van stagneer is voorbij, my broer and sister. Regardless of your position, regardless of your situation, regardless of what you are going through, Regardless of your sickness, regardless of your present condition, what is left for you now to be able to unlock the supernatural power of the Almighty God? Oh, God, help us this morning. I just pray that God will just help us this morning. What is left this morning, my brothers and sisters? Hallelujah, it's for you. Remember, hallelujah, that God spoke to Joshua. And God is dealing with our present condition. The year is busy on the deal met on a heilige situation. Maybe you got so stuck up or you got so, hallelujah, tired, or you got so, amen, hallelujah, stagnated in this very pandemic, or you become so lazy and so slow to move, or amen, or somehow, hallelujah, you got glued, amen, to your situations and your conditions that you have forgotten gotten to take the first step. May God help us this morning to realize that God has already given us His Word and the only thing we have to do this morning is to take the first step because the soil, hallelujah, the place Hallelujah, everything that we need has been already paid for. Turn around to your wife. Turn around to your husband. Tell him in the, in the, right there, brother, let's take the first step. My wife, let's take the first step. Maybe you have heard this a million times before. But as the servant of God this morning, I want you to tell your children, we, it is time that we should take the first step of faith. And these men, because of their faith, and the first step they took, hallelujah, not just got them to the camp of the Syrians, but to the uttermost part of the camp of the Syrians. Oh, God help us this morning. Footsteps is possession. 
the first step, hallelujah, amen, the first step they took, amen, not just took them to the, to the camp of the Syrians, but it took them to the uttermost part of the camp of the Syrians. And when they got there, hallelujah, no matter what people tell you, no matter how bad your situation is, no matter my brothers and sisters, stand up, rise up in the name of Jesus. Take that first step of faith. Hallelujah, the courage of these four lepers, the fearless faith of these four men produce the move of the supernatural. It allowed them, amen, not just to get into the camp, but, amen, to the uttermost parts of the camp. God wants to not just take you into the enemy's camp, but God wants to take you this morning to the uttermost parts. Hallelujah. And right there in the uttermost, uttermost parts, hallelujah, where things become so bad that you don't know what to do, there is the place where God wants to bless you. And there is the place where God wants to anoint you. And God wants to bless you in such a way that you would bless other people. Lord Jesus, help us this morning. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.